All right, guys, 28 November 2023. Hey, uh, I'm on the dreaded Twitter, the dreaded X.com. Yeah, it's good now that Musk has it. He's, uh, he's keeping free speech alive. We're at Twitter 1.0 with Vajaya, head of trust and security, uh, was basically a paid shill by the government to censor opposing viewpoints. And that other guy, Thor, or whatever name was, his that guy was working at Twitter. Anyway, enough about that. We're on Twitter. I always like to go now to the trending crap just to see. Otherwise, you get stuff in your feed that'll just drive you nuts. Twitter makes you angry. It's just the worst of humanity. Uh, it, just be cautious. It's a dangerous pill and a rabbit hole to go down. Uh, and man, it's not good. You see people posting a lot of on both sides. Mostly you see on the left. Um, they call it the Mockingbird Press. And they're giving their talking points every morning. And they're like uh, lefty DNC uh, operatives. And they go out and they, you kind of see a pattern. They all post the same theme because they were given marching orders. Here's what you need to post today. And they're being paid either by Media Matters or someone. And there's some of it on the, in the right as well. But I, that is more just joking stuff, meme stuff. Whereas on the left, they're, you can see in Twitter, they're trying to kind of uh, brainwash you and make propagandize you. And, but again, most people, most normies are at work all day. They don't use Twitter. Most people are just kind of, you know, Facebook and watch YouTube videos um, at work all day. I don't know many people that really use Twitter, so they're really tweeting to an echo chamber. Anyway, having said that, i weaning myself off this crap, but I do like looking at the trends. And one of the trends I saw was Social Security. This is something, no matter what age you are, take it seriously. If you are young take it seriously on how to plan for your future if there is a future in this country because it's not looking good uh it is not looking good at all so uh with the with the i'm gonna do a video on all these tech layoffs coming up and i did i do one already i'm losing my mind i think i just did one uh yeah i'll have to look at that but anyway let's go new social security administration data shows the average american worker made thirty four hundred dollars a month in 2022 that is not much money that's before taxes so that makes it worse that makes it worse uh let me put it another way the middle class is no longer the middle class a medium income a median income means you barely scrape by that is horrible and i think that is the plan whether nefariously by design or just stupidity in the government is to destroy the middle class uh, you will, you'll have the haves and have nots the way it's been through history. Uh, it just seems humanity always repeats itself. What does Twain say? History doesn't, doesn't repeat. Wait, who's, oh my God, I'm an idiot. History doesn't repeat itself, but it sure does rhyme. Uh, yeah. What, what the hell, man? You always got to take care of yourself. Do not trust the government. They're out to tax you multiple times and take all your money and give it to these countries overseas. Whereas our country's imploding infrastructure-wise and that. It's just bad, man. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, what's this one? This is a political one. When people post this stuff and they start blaming uh, uh, presidents, it's just, I don't know what it is. It's Congress. It's a uniparty, folks. It's not Republican, Democrat, Libertarian. It, it's one party. You guys don't get it. It's a small club and we ain't in it. And again, I'm going to throw a lot of George Carlin quotes out there. Because he was spot on, man. Watch his YouTube stand-ups from 2000 early. He was on about how this government's run, how it is. The American Dream, you know, his best one. I like that one. It's, it's called the American Dream because you got to be asleep to believe it. And it's bad. People can't afford rent. People can't afford mortgages, about 8%. People are getting laid off due to high inflation because companies live off debt. And with higher interest rates on that debt, they got to cut people. And then with people, they'll depend more on their credit card and get stuck into the 25% a month or more rates and never get out. It's a spiraling uh, descent downwards into the debt hell. This is good, too. Also, if you're receiving Social Security, you, uh, you were taxed then and taxed. I don't know why she, she spelled it wrong. Or maybe she did a verbal. It's taxed then and taxed at the end of the year. Isn't double taxation legal, but... It's okay for the government to break the law. Didn't you learn that yet? The biggest scam in life, paying taxes on, your mo on the money you make, which you do, taxes on the money you spend, right? You're paying tax when you spend your money. And taxes on things you own that you already pay taxes on, already tax money. Ah! 
it's just insanity, man. And tax, what, it started in the 20s or 30s voluntarily, and then they just said, hey, let's just take this money from these people, the peasants. Oh, my God. There are seniors about... I was talking to some seniors yesterday who were really worried about potential cuts in Social Security. I don't know about cuts. I thought they had a COLA, which is a cost of living adjustment. So I, I'm really concerned about... So you get Again, tweets, you got to doubt but verify. Uh, never trust a tweet. It's people spewing garbage. And that's why... Um, over, I thought one of the things trending was community notes where uh, Musk's team has implemented community notes where someone posts something, you, the community can chime and say, no, this is the way it is. This guy's just BSing you. Uh, here's a political about voting. This makes sense. You need an ID to drive, bank account, get welfare, security. Check out a library book, but you don't need one to vote. Yeah, why don't you have an ID? Because the game is rigged. Voting is just a placebo to keep the masses appeased that they think they're making a difference. People are installed. They are not elected. Uh, that's the bottom line. I think the reason Trump won because he overwhelmed the steal and they couldn't steal it hard enough. And that look at the number. That's why Clinton didn't contest it. Uh, sorry to get political, but it's just, it's just obvious. My God. Uh, critical thinking skills. All right. I don't know what's going on with this crap. Is this today? Congress must pass the Social Security Fairness. Uh, are, are they effing with Social Security now? They better not, man. That's going to piss off everybody. But... Uh, What's, what the problem is now, too, is that with these layoffs in the tech sector, all these high-wage earners now making nothing, they're going to start pulling, and other people, the middle class, are starting to pull hardship withdrawals from their retirement accounts, their 401ks, before they're 59 and a half. Uh, they're starting to pull that, meaning they're burning that money now after paying the tax penalty, and they're not going to replenish that. So when they get to that age, if they make it that far, Guess what? There's going to be no money for them to retire. It's, the system's going to crumble. The Ponzi scheme of Social Security is going to crumble. Uh, there's going to be no money. I don't know. These people won't be able to retire. You'll be, but how are you going to live on $1,800 a month? God, geez, that's kind of scary. So let's look. This is a good one, too. The uh, Pareto investor. I have to follow this guy. I like, I like people like this. By the time I am 67, over $600,000 schmackaroos will be paid into Social Security on my behalf. You're hashtagging Social Security like these guys give a crap. These are just drones that work in these government offices. They're GS9s making barely any money. But they get every holiday off, uh, you know, and they get every benefit in the butthole book, and they get every medical thing. So they don't care about you. They're just drones, and they, you can bitch all you want. They don't care. That money would have been worth 1.9 million, M, million, if I had gotten a 5% return, which you can in money markets, or uh, CDs and treasuries, my annual interest would be 95K. Holy schmackaroos. Whereas now you're looking at $20,000. The government promises me, oh my God, so he's getting higher than average. He's getting 33000 a month at 67, which is 37K a year. Holy crap. How is this not that? I agree, but guess what? What in the hell is anyone going to do about it? This is a machine that has been created over time. And there is no stopping it, man. There is no stopping it. All right, what is all this stuff? By, uh, that's more political stuff. I thought I had one more I wanted to show you. I think that was the it of the gist of this video. Is I don't know, guys. I don't know what to tell you. What is it? Social Security facts. Oh, they're talking about parties again. Again, it's a unit party, folks. There are not two parties. It's a club. They all work together. They see each other every day. It's like a little toxic work environment. So get with it. Oh, let's see. There's nothing else useful. I'm so sick of this crap. I don't know. Do your best. Save. Don't buy shiny objects. Uh, save as best you can. Look for tax loophole. loopholes. Get a CPA to help you with that. They do it every day. They can help you. Uh, the more money you can keep in your pocket through a Roth IRA. Setting up a trust. You got to pay a lawyer to help you. I mean, it's, I mean you can do it yourself, but 2000 bucks to get a lawyer to help you. I know 2000 bucks gone, but they'll help you set up a trust which protects all your wealth and assets from the government and anyone else. You put everything under a trust, your retirement, your house. You, it protects, the trust protects your wealth. It, if you just have it yourself, people can come after it. You're come after it. The trust is a great security blanket. I need to do it. I'm all talk right now. I really need to get off my ass and get the trust set up. It's, um, oh my God, I'll get the term. It's one of, damn, I forget the term. Look at the trust setting up a, pers a trust for your estate. Anybody can do it. Uh, let's see. That is all I got for this video. I want to talk about that. 
uh, Social Security stuff. Uh, I already looked at some other stuff today about all the layoffs. I mentioned that. People don't talk about all the tech layoffs. They mention it like, very briefly in localized news, but not in the national mainstream propaganda news. Uh, you have to dig for it. And then, again, you read it. Don't believe anything you read on Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube. You've got to verify. Doubt, but verify. Go look it up. Search around for resources. And I did that, just that. One guy said, um, actually, as an example, one guy said, oh, 17,000 tech layoffs this month. It was actually 1,700. So there you go. It's a number, but it's important. So there were 1,700 layoffs this month alone in the San Francisco Valley, Silicon Valley, from San Jose to San Francisco, in the tech sector, meaning all those guys who are making over 200 plus K are now on the street. Uh, they're not going to find another job in that area. It's extremely expensive out there. They'll probably be using their uh, hardship withdrawals on their retirement, if they, you know, on, on their 401ks, and, uh, or use their credit card and get into debt until they can get the hell out of the expensive area go back to their own country or um yeah <laughs> i mean that a lot of them are on visas H hp1 visas not a joke because you can pay them less and most of them live in like four to five in one apartment rooms it's it's crazy because they know it's expensive here and they just come over to sock money away and send it back to their own country i mean doubt me look it up man but uh if you're american working out there you got to get out of there go to a cheap area become a defense contractor get your clearance and just hold golden handcuffs to the to you to the body bag takes you out of the cube you know Hate to be that downer, but my God, it just looks bleak out there. And it's only going to get worse. Housing prices, housing supply, housing demand, insurance costs. Oh, my God. What else is out there? Car, owning a car, buying a car is ridiculous. I think it's a whole house of cars is going to collapse. You know, they're asking 80000 bucks for a pickup truck. Holy crap, a pickup truck. Are you joking? A pickup truck. You know, no way. No, that's got to correct. Uh, housing's going to have to correct. How much? Who knows? Depends where you live, right? Uh, what else is going to correct? P credit card debt. That may be the, the Achilles heel. That may collapse a lot of stuff. People can't pay their credit card debt. Yeah. Student loans are still out there. You can't default on a student loan. You know, I don't know what the heck they're promising. I just, no one's going to pay it off. You know, don't go to a stupid rich school like Harvard. And here's a fact you can look up. Harvard, they pay so much money to go to the stupid school. They get out, and on average, they make $55,000 a year, and they have like 100000 plus in debt. They'll never get out of that debt until maybe they're forty five fifty. It's ridiculous, man. Go learn a trade. Take that money you would have put into a expensive college. Go learn a freaking trade. Uh, plumber, handyman. Handymans are on demand. You know why? No one knows how to do anything anymore with their hands. No one can. How many young men, young people, let's say, you know, typically, let's say under 30 or 40, can change a tire, can change their oil, know how to check, um, uh, what do you call it, check the codes on the computer in their car, know how to you know, rotate tires, let alone change a tire, change the spark plugs, do just basic maintenance, um, how to even uh, fix drywall holes in their house, how to cut and crown molding, which is, it's tricky, but you can learn it. YouTube is your friend. And basically that's it. Who can actually self-learn and want to do it? And, uh, and paint a room. It's just not, oh, I can't do it. I can't change my tire. I mean, it's scary. That's why handyman, man, boom, boom, boom. People are going to be call you to change a freaking light bulb. You know, it does happen. They change you. They call you to uh, fix a hole in drywall. Uh, basic little stuff. Fix a squeaky wheel on a garage door. Uh, what is something? I'll oh, fix a leaky faucet. Holy crap. Fix a, a running toilet. These are all things replaced with a $14 item. The toilet, too, just... It's easy, but no one knows how to do it, and that is why, <clears throat> that is why I think handyman can be a really popular thing. And you set what you want to do. You, I mean, I would not do roof work, and probably stuff you need permits. That's a pain in the butt. You know, they, they're they're going to have to hire someone who can do the permit work. And if you're licensed to do certain electrical stuff that requires permit, then maybe you definitely don't don't f with that. You got to let tell them you need a permit. And you need a licensed electrician and or plumber to come in and do this work. Not me. I can't do it. So that stuff like that. That's the gist is people just don't know how you work with their hands anymore. So uh, hard times make tough men. Tough men make good times. Good times make soft, weak men, which then make hard times and then so on and so on, which make hard men. So we're in that very soft time. We had good times. Everyone's soft and weak, don't know how to do anything. Uh, now they're going to look to the government for handouts, and Social Security is one of those handouts. Hey, I, I kind of 
tied it up in a little bow there. All right, that's all I got. Go forth to great things. And I don't know. Quit spending money, save as much as you can. That's all I got. All right, I'm out.